If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to solve the question on your own before listening on. We can begin this question by drawing a picture and then setting up a projectile motion table. So over at this position we have the cannon and it's firing the daredevil out of the cannon at 25 meters per second with the 45 degree angle. The daredevil is going to fly all the way over to the net which is situated over here and what we have to figure out is how high above the level of the cannon the net needs to be situated. In other words we just need to find the vertical displacement. And so our next step is to begin filling the information that we know into this projectile motion table. Now to do that we're going to need to break the initial velocity into its x and y components. So let's draw those components. We can see that the x component is adjacent to the 45 degree angle so we're going to end up using the cosine for the x component initial velocity. The y component is opposite to the 45 degree angle so we'll end up using the sine for the initial velocity in the y direction. Now the question notes that the net is a horizontal distance of 50 meters away from the cannon so we've added a label to the drawing to show those 50 meters. That is the horizontal displacement which means we can plug that in to the x direction of our table. Sticking with the x direction it turns out that the acceleration is zero as is almost always the case with projectile motion questions. We actually have sufficient information now to calculate the time so let's look at one of our kinematics formulas. Now because the acceleration is zero we can eliminate this block of terms. We could then divide both sides of this equation by the initial velocity in order to isolate time. Now remembering that we are working with the x direction now we can plug in the displacement as well as the initial velocity. And when we divide we see that the time turns out to be approximately 2.83 seconds. Now that means we could put that for the time in both the x direction as well as the y direction. These times are always going to be the same in projectile motion questions so let's fill them in. Next we'll fill in additional information into the y column. Remember our goal is to find the displacement in the y direction so we'll leave that as a question mark. We also remember that the acceleration in the y direction is indeed negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So we're going to use the same formula from kinematics that we just used in order to calculate the displacement in the y direction. Notice that we're now using delta y to denote the displacement rather than delta x, but the equation is otherwise the same. So we'll plug in all the known values on the right side that we have in the y direction. And after computing that, we see that the delta y, the displacement in the y direction, is 10.8 meters. And so that's how high above the surface of the cannon the net is going to need to be placed in order to catch the daredevil. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen, and I will do my best to provide a YouTube video solution to it.